Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss about lexical and reference questions in OIT reading parts. Please watch my videos till the end. Definitely you are going to achieve full marks in OI lexical and reference questions. Okay, this is one of the questions I have taken from official website and uh, the, uh, sorry, one minute. Okay. And uh, see, in the four, for the first question, in the four paragraph, the word uh, they uh, refers to, you will get some words like they, eat, those, like that you will get some uh, questions, okay? So what the word they refers to, what is they? They is the pronoun. What is it? To say pronoun, what are the pronouns? I, we, she, he, uh, they, these are the pronouns, okay? That is pronouns are replacing the noun okay they are they, they are replacing the nouns that is pronouns okay so when you get these type of questions what you have to do you have to read the sentence two sentences before this and before this referral word okay before the pronoun okay you have to read two sentences before the pronoun second you have to check what is the first plural noun what is they is the they is referring to one more person that is the plural okay what is the plural noun they are discussing there what is the plural noun got it what is the plural this is the pronoun they is the pronoun okay got it got it they pro this is the pronoun okay you have to read two sentences before this pronoun and check where they, they are they are discussing any plural noun okay got it plural noun since they is referring one more person if it is singular that is singular noun you have to check there is a singular noun is in the passage okay so if they are there is the one more they is the referring to two, two person two more person okay so you have to check there is a plural noun in the passage. Okay. Now we are going to check that is there any plural noun. It's very simple, tricky technique. Definitely you will get answer. Please watch my videos till the end. You are going to achieve good score in OIT ready part C. What is the plural noun here? Okay. See, this is the they. Okay. We will underline this sentence here. Okay. Got it. We are going to read the sentence before that okay so from here however there's some contradiction so now we are going to read from here okay adhd the thinking goes begins in childhood in fact in order to be diagnosed with it as an adult a patient must demonstrate that they had trace of the condition childhood. however studies from the uk and brazil published in jma psychiatry Jama psychiatry are prevailing questions about the origins and trajectory of ADHD, suggesting not only that it can be in adult, adulthood, but that there may be two distinct symptoms. What are symptoms? Adult onset ADHD and childhood, uh, childhood ADHD. They echo, they echo earlier research from the uh, New Zealand. They echo earlier research from the new slide okay but that is they echo mean they almost similar similar studies they similar or earlier research from the new center. they almost similar of the studies of the new center what is they what is what is the pronoun they is referring that is the question so here we have to check is there any plural nouns are discussing they is they is the pronoun, that is, they is referring to person, to person, okay, Sing, not a single, it is a plural, okay, plural, plural, they is a plural word, okay, plural word, so you have to check if there is any plural noun is there in the passage, okay, plural noun, what is studies, is a plural, studies from the UK and Brazil, okay, studies, we got plural noun, published in JAMA Psychiatry are prevailing questions about origins and trajectory of ADHD suggesting not only that it can begin in adulthood but that there may be two distinct symptoms. What are the symptoms? 
these are the conditions syndromes is adult onset adhd childhood what is the plural noun discussing here the first plural noun is here that is studies got it simply we can uh, find out the answer in this type of questions the plural noun here discussing is the studies studies however studies from uk and brazil published in jama psychiatry are prevailing Dwelling questions about the origins and trajectory, trajectory of hereditary suggesting not only that it can begin in adult figure, but there may be two distinct syndromes. There may be two distinct, that is, once, uh, adult onset and adult onset. They echo, they echo means their studies, they echo means their, they echo means their studies. Echo earlier research, when they were almost similar to the studies of new center. They, they echo, they echo means their studies. Their studies, who studies? We can proceed studies. Okay. So the what is the plural noun discussing here? Studies. What is simple and easy trick to find out these type of questions? Okay. So the answer is studies. Okay, got it. So don't make mistake in next on next time. Don't make any mistake. Okay? If you have any doubt, you can contact me. I'm providing online individual classes for all OIT experience. If you want to attend my classes, please contact me on whatsapp definitely i will give there are so many tricks and tips to find out answers in oit reading parts so definitely you are going to get good scores in oit reading parts this is the most difficult part of the oit reading subtest oit uh, subtest okay so please watch my videos till the end definitely you are going to attend good scores in oit reading part c okay next question we are going to see trademark okay this is the trademark okay what is the question here? Question. Trademark refers to this is one other referring question. In the final part, the word trademark refers to a physiological reaction, reaction, a substitute medication, a need for research, a common request. Okay. These are the options. You have to read the option also. You have to read the option also when you are getting the question paper. You have to read the question. It's very important. Okay. Trade what the trademark refers to. We have to go to the final paragraph. Okay, what is the word trademark? Okay, we are you have to read two sentences before uh, one or two sentences before and one sentence after the uh, uh, referral word. Okay, so uh, there uh, I would like to give you one more suggestion. Okay, you have to understand the context of the sentence when you are getting these type of questions first you have to understand the context of the sentence containing the pronoun or specific terms okay what if you have to understand the context of the sentence containing the pronoun or specific of the test okay second tips i would like to give you identify the main subject or object being discussed what they are discussing you have to identify the main subject or object they are being discussed Third, the theme what is the theme should be fit should be fit uh, logically within the context is that what are the theme you are getting uh, here it should be fit logically within the context got it i repeat once more you have to understand the context of the sentence containing pronoun or the pronoun or the specific term. Specific term. Okay, got it. Second, to identify the main subject or object within the uh, passage, you have to identify the main subject or, or main subject or object being discussed. What is the main subject or object being discussed in the passage? Third, the term should be fit logically within the context. What are the term should be fit logically within the context? This is the three tips when you are uh, when we are going to do the uh, reference or lexical resource question you have to keep in your mind. Okay. So trademark. Uh, what is the question here? Okay. In the final part, the word trademark refers to that is the question. So now we are going to read the sentence. This brings us to the issues of the addictive nature of ADHD medication, uh, as Dr. Sol asserts, addiction to uh, stimulant medication is not rare, it's common. Just observe the many patients periodically seeking an increased dosage as their powers of uh, concentration diminish. This is because the body stops producing the appropriate level of neurotransmitters that ADHD 
drug replace a trademark of additive uh, substance. Okay, so we have to find out trademark. First, I told you you have to understand the context. What is the context of the sentence? What is the context of the sentence here? They are discussing about some addition. Okay, addition of ADHD medication. What is the ADHD medication? Second, identify the main subject and object being discussed. What is the main subject and object being discussed? They are discussing about the ADHD medication and and the um, um I um uh, and they are discussing about the ADHD medication and the addiction addition to stimulant medication addition. Okay, main subject and um main subject is here. They are discussing the ADHD medication and the addiction okay that the main subject you have to understand the the word or uh, the word to understand the term should be fit they should be fit logically within the corner what is the term here they are given the trademark should be fit logically within the uh, contest okay the trademark they are given okay what is the trademark referring uh, referring to that we have to find out here they are discussing about the ADHD medication and the addiction okay ADHD medication, addiction, Dr. Sol asserts addiction to stimulant medication is not as common, okay? Just observe the many patients periodically seeking an increased dosage as their powers of concentration diminish, okay? Their powers of concentration diminish, they, they going to, they, they take more medications, okay? ADHD medication, they, they increase their dosage, okay? This is because the why why patients are taking more radiatory medication. They are uh, they are losing their concentration. Why they are they taking more medication? This is because the body stops producing. The body stop producing the appropriate levels of neurotransmitters that ADHD drugs replace. That is a trademark of addictive substance. That is a trade, trademark means it's a character. That is the character of a addictive substance. What is the character of it? Is That is that diminish the, the they, they, they stop producing the appropriate level of neurotransmitters that ADHD, ADHD that replace. Okay, what that is the trademark. Trademark means that is the character. That is the character of an addictive substance. So for example, Okay, but uh, there are some products they have trademarks. What is that? They are the trademark, they have particular character. They, this is special. Okay, the same like here also. Uh, in if, if, if the patient is taking ADHD medication, they get addictive and and they get addictive, and sometimes they lose they lo do lose the power of power of concern. They that time they take more dosage. Okay, that time. The body stop producing the appropriate levels of neurotransmitters that ADHD drug replace. That is the trademark of addictive substance. That means I think definitely you got the answer without without seeing the option. Also, you can write the answer. What is the answer here? What is the answer? What is the is it substitute medication? No, it is no substitute medication. Is the a need for research trademark reference? A need for no, it is no, there is no need for research. It is a common request. No, it is not a common request, but it is a physiological reaction. Definitely, if you read the sentence this way, definitely you will get the correct. This is a physiological reaction. Okay, got it. Today always we are not going to make any mistakes in OIT reading part, part C, lexical or reference question. Definitely you will get most of the students are facing problems in these type of questions. Okay. Now we are going to see another two questions. Uh, and the two questions, uh, this is one question. In the third paragraph, what idea is emphasized by the phrase by no means? the be all and end to all okay in the third we are going to read the uh, third paragraph by no means these are the question you have to read the option also sleep deprivation deprivation has consequences there are some kind of consequences means partial palangal malalati paramal partial consequences okay adverse consequences beyond its impact on adenosine levels okay so adenosine levels are significant factor. These are the significant factor. You have to underline the keyword significant factor in situation other than sleep deprivation. The role of adenosine as a response, the role of adenosine as a response to sleep deprivation is not fully understood. 
the importance of the link between sleep deprivation and adenosine should not be underestimated. These are the options. Okay. Now we are going to read the sentence. Two sentences. No, don't read to read two sentences. Minimum one sentence is enough to get this to write this answer. Okay. But to read the sentence before the uh, phrase. Okay. So uh, now uh, I am going to read from here. The okay. The brain has cleverly designed. So the brain has cleverly designed a two-stage defense against the consequence of the uh, consequence of sleep uh, loss. Michael says adenosine may underlie some of the cognitive deficit that result from sleep loss. McCarley and colleagues, McCarley's and colleagues found that infusing adenosine into rats, basal forebrain impaired their performance on an attention test, similar to that seen in sleep deprived women. But adenosine levels are up by no means uh, the be all and end all of sleep deprivation effects on the brain of the body. Okay. This is the question. Okay. So I think it will be better to read from here also. Okay. We will get more idea. Okay. Teaming up with Beshi and others, McAllis later discovered that adenosine levels at la rise during sleep deprivation. Okay. If you are not getting idea, you can read one more sentence before. Okay. Adenosine levels rise. Adenosine levels rise during rise uh, during sleep depression. If you are not sleeping well, your adenosine level will rise. Okay. So do concentration of adenosine receptors. What are the adenosine receptors magnify the molecule. They magnifies they they magnifies the molecules of sleep inducing effect. That, that means it is it's a defense mechanism. Okay. Bodies respond. If you are not sleeping well, the adenosine produce more and you, the, the adenosine molecules are going to induce the sleep. Okay. They are producing the they are inducing the sleep effect. Okay. That is a defense mechanism. The brain has cleverly design, designed a two-stage defense against the consequence of sleep loss. Okay. So if you are getting a sleep loss, adenosine level will rise. Level will rise that adenosine receptors will induce the sleep. Okay, got it? This is the simple meaning. Okay. Macaulay says adenosine may underlie some of the cognitive deficit. Okay. Adenosine may cause some of the cognitive deficit that result from sleep loss. Sleep loss. That means if 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 you are getting sleep loss, adenosine level will increase. That may cause some as uh, cognitive deficit. That may result some cognitive deficit. Okay. McCullis and colleagues found that infusing, infusing adenosine into rats' basal, basal forebrain impaired their performance on an attention test. They impaired, that means infused adenosine into the rats' brain, that the, 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 they impaired their performance on an attention test. Okay? Similar to that in seen in sleep deprived humans. That is, if you are sleep, if you have sleep deprivation, Adenosine your <coughs> sorry, your adenosine level will increase. Okay, but the next is it. But adenosine levels are by no means be all and in all of a sleep deprivation effect on the brain of the body. Hmm. What is that means? Adenosine levels are by no means be all. Only not not only the adenosine, only no adenosine. Sleep deprivation affects the brain or the body. Okay. Now we are going to see the options. Okay. Option, what it is saying? Sleep deprivation has deprivation has consequences beyond its beyond its impact on adenosine levels. Is it correct? Is it matching with the this? Is it match? By no means mean by no means the be all and end all. Okay. So deprivation has con yes, it has consequences beyond its impacts on adenosine. Yes, if, if you are not sleeping well, the adenosine levels will increase. Not only that, if you are not sleeping well, the adenosine levels will increase. That will induce your sleep. Okay. Second option. Adenosine levels are significant factor in situation other than sleep. It is a significant factor other than sleep. No, it is not a significant factor. If you are not sleeping well, the adenosine it is not a significant factor. Okay. It is not discussing. The role of adenosine as a response to sleep deprivation is not yet fully understood. It is not, it is not yet fully understood. Okay. But to eliminate. We have to eliminate the option. The importance of link between sleep deprivation and adenosine should not be underestimated. 
somewhat somewhere you will think yes it is not should not be under what is the context of the idea what is the context or phrase he is mainly referring the meaning referring the meaning is slave deprivation has a consequences beyond its impact on adolescent level so the answer is a okay got it next other question in the fifth paragraph what does the word it refer to what is the word an enzyme no evidence a catabolic state and enforced lack of a sleep okay now we are going to see the which paragraph is in the fifth paragraph okay it see here we are going to read the sentence okay from here we will read There is no need to read from here. Okay, two two sentences. Another is here. Mm. Another recent study showed that sleep restricted people will add three hundred calories calories to their daily diet. Uh, echoing Van Cooter's research, Bashir has found evidence that enforced lack of sleep sends the brain in, into catabolic or energy consuming state. This is because it degrades the energy. It will because it degrades energy molecule adenosine triphosphate to produce adenosine monophosphate. Adenosine monophosphate. So okay, we are going to read from here. What it it referring to? Okay, we are going. We I am going to read the sentence once more. Okay, Bashir has found evidence that enforced lack of sleep. Sense so if you if you are enforced lack of sleep sends the brain into a catabolic or energy consuming state. If you are lacking sleep, your enforced lack of sleep that is lacking sleep leads to catabolic or energy consuming state of brain. Okay, you will take more calories. Okay, this is because it degrades. What is what it degrades? What is this is because it degrades the energy molecule. What is it refer? What is it degrading? What it degrading? It means what is the subject? What is the subject here? It referring to what is subject? That is sleep. Enforced lack of sleep. It enforced lack of sleep degrade the energy molecule adenosine triphosphate to produce adenosine monophosphate. Okay, so it, catabolic and energy is a catabolic is a state of brain. It is a state of brain. If you are not sleeping well, the uh, brain in a catabolic or energy consuming state, you will take more uh, calories. Okay, that is the term. You will take more. This is because why this is this is why it degrade. What it is degrading? Not lack, enforced lack of sleep degrades. The energy molecule adenosine tri ATP, adenosine triphosphate, to produce adenosine monophosphate. Okay, so if you find if you find out these type of words, if you read properly, if you understood the context of the sentence, definitely you can you, you will get uh, full marks in reading parts in lexical or reference questions. Okay, you degree. Then what is the answer here? Is it enzyme? It is an enzyme. It is referring to an enzyme. A new evidence. It's a catabolic. Catabolic state means the state of brain. Okay. It, it, it is not. It is not referring the it. Okay. This enforced lack of sleep. Okay. What is the answer here? Enforced lack of sleep is referring it in this context, in this passage. Okay. So please watch my videos till then. Definitely you will get good marks in lexical and reference questions. Okay. If you want anyone uh, like to attend online class, individual online classes, please contact me on WhatsApp. Thank you for seeing today's signing of Asanita.